Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Sophia Loren inspired look. I actually personally think that I look more like her when I'm not trying, but uh, the makeup was pretty, so whatever. Uh, Alright, let's get into it. So I'm going to be mixing the Smashbox Photo Finish Light and the Pore Minimizing Primers because I want to have a pretty flawless and matte base. For foundation, I'm using Maybelline Matte and Poreless in shade, I believe, 125. I don't know for sure, but it'll be listed down below. Again, because I want to have a matte base. They didn't do dewy skin or crazy highlight back in the day, which um, kind of hurts my heart, but it was all about a flawless base. For concealer, I'm mixing Tarte Shape Tape Fair Neutral and Light Neutral. I'm just doing a little bit of color correcting and concealing for pretty much my own personal preference. For brows, I'm going to be mixing two products. So I'm starting off with my Tony Moly Brow Pencil, and I'm going to be doing the majority of my brow shaping with this. But then I'm going to be going in with a dark brown shade by Makeup Forever to intensify my brows a little bit. Her eyebrows were much darker than mine, and I didn't want them to be exactly like hers, but you know. To bronze, I'm using the Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow Kit. I'm going to be using the cream. They didn't do a whole lot of bronzing back then, but she's actually quite tan. And I wanted to add a little bit more dimension to the look. To set underneath my eyes, I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder, and I'm applying this with the number 25 brush. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that concealer to prime my lids and set it with that same Kat Von D setting powder. I wanted to add a little bit more contour to my cheekbones because she has very high cheekbones. So I'm using the powder contour from the Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow Kit and I am applying this with my Real Techniques setting brush. Her nose has a very narrow tip, so I decided to mimic that style a little bit, but you obviously don't have to do that. I'm using this NYX blush called Nude Tude, and I'm applying this with my Marc Jacobs blush brush. She never wore pink or peach blush. It was always kind of an extension of her contour or bronze. For eyes, I'm going to be going in with the Stila palette. It is the Eyes Are the Window palette. And I'm starting off with these two grayish shades. I'm going to start off with the lightest one to build up the crease. And I'm using a blending brush just to add a little bit of definition, but I'm not bringing that down onto the lid quite yet. Then I'm picking up a bit more of that color and I'm going to bring it down onto the lid because I'm going to be going in with a darker gray and I want to make sure that it really blends up into the crease, but I don't want the crease to be the darkest area. Now I'm picking up that dark gray shade and I'm packing this onto the lid with my Sigma E54 brush and just gently working that up into the lid. I'm just picking up a little bit more of that gray shade on a blending brush to deepen up the outer corner. For the lower lash line, I'm taking a little bit of the lighter shade to just really lightly define my under eye bag, just to make it a little bit more flattering for my eye shape. Then I'm picking up the black shade on this flat definer brush by Morphe, and I'm going to be packing this really, really close to the lash line. 
we're going to be connecting this with a winged liner. So I'm gonna bring it out a little bit at the outer corner of the eye. For the liner, I'm using the new Natasha Denona Cream Liner in black. And I'm just gonna start sketching out the wing with an IT Cosmetics angled brush. I'll be honest, I had a little bit of a difficult time with this just because I'm not used to using gels. I'm used to using liquid. Um, so I'm gonna have to work with it a little bit more before I give you a review on it. I went back and forth between that cosmetics brush and this tiny Sigma E06 brush. The trick her makeup artist used to make her eyes look larger was to extend the lower lash line up into the wing. So I was trying to be very, very careful not to bring my wing down too far, but to be able to connect it to the lower lash line. So you can kind of see that area of flesh that I'm leaving on the very outer corner of my eye. And they would also extend the inner corner of her eyes with the tiniest amount of liner. Then I'm going into my waterline with this nude liner by Rimmel. And I'm gonna be taking this all over the waterline and then extending it into that area of my outer corner. Since they didn't go for the whole dewy highlighted look, I decided to go in with this white matte shadow from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette to highlight my face. This helps to round out the look without losing that matte finish. I'm gonna give my lashes a few coats of the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And for falsies, I'm going in with number three by Blinking Beauté. Now when she would apply her lashes, she would bring them out farther than her actual eye line and higher up onto the winged liner. This helps to accentuate that cat eye and lift. I'm lining my lips with the NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner, and I'm gonna kind of follow her lip shape. She has very pointy Cupid's bow, but I still overlined the outer part of my lips because I can't help it. Then I'm going in with this nude lipstick by Makeup Forever. And to finish it off, I'm going in with Undressed. This cool toned cat eye and nude glossy lip was a classic Sophia Loren look. All right guys, that is it for this look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. That will all be listed below. And I will see you in the next one.